episode, we're going to continue off with the previous episode on Video.js, but instead of providing a single stream, we're going to provide a multi-stream of different versions to the end user client. And that will give us a few different benefits of being able to select the different quality that the user wants to view your video in or have it set to automatic based on their bandwidth. And so if I come up and select a different quality in our network tab, then you'll see where it's pulling different chunks of video data as well as a M3U8 file. And before we dive into the code, just a little bit of an explanation of what this M3U8 is and these TS files. The TS file is just a video chunk. And so for the TS files, it's going to be a 10 second segment of the entire video clip. And depending on the video quality, their sizes may vary. But for a 720p, you can see that each 10 second segment is between one and a half and two megabytes. And so typically for larger websites, you wouldn't want to do any kind of conversion on the actual servers because that's going to put a lot of load on them. Instead, you would use some kind of transcoding service. But in this episode, I'm gearing this more towards the small websites where getting involved with a transcoding service might be a bit more of a headache or a bit more effort than it's worth or due to cost, you want to keep it more minimal. And so we're going to do the transcoding on our web server, but we're gonna stage it to where this could be done in a background job, so it's not affecting the end users, but you could just scale up horizontally or vertically the background workers. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.